Hey everybody, Carl here with another episode of Trilobites, our species profile videos. Before we get into this episode, we wanted to thank everyone who has subscribed and watched these videos. And if you enjoy short, informative videos like these, please let us know in the comments below and subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Now, without further ado, Trilobite Studios proudly presents the meat-eating bull of Isla Nublar, Masrani Global's Carnotaurus. The history of Masrani's Carnotaurus begins in the year 1984, when Argentinian paleontologist Jose Ferdinando Bonaparte found a nearly complete adult specimen of Carnotaurus on a farm in the La Colonia Formation. Carnotaurus lived during the Late Cretaceous period, roughly 72 to 69 million years ago. Its discovery quickly ushered in a new era of paleontology in South America, although it wasn't until 1990 that Carnotaurus was fully described as a species and accepted by paleontologists worldwide. That discovery ultimately brings us to InGen and their role in resurrecting the species. During the later parts of the 1980s and the early 1990s, Dr. Henry Wu was hard at work creating animals that would eventually be used in Jurassic Park. However, it's unknown when InGen's Carnotaurus was produced. We do know that by 1995, both Carnotaurus specimens produced by InGen were fully grown. InGen's Carnotaurus was roughly 10 to 12 feet tall and 20 feet long, and one witness claims that it had the ability to camouflage. This camouflaging ability may stem from the DNA used in the creation of InGen's Carnotaurus. InGen used either cuttlefish or chameleon DNA in the Carnotaurus genetic structure when filling in missing DNA sequences. Both the chameleon and the cuttlefish have the ability to alter their color and skin patterns in order to camouflage themselves. This ability, albeit amazing, would not be suitable for an animal on display. However, on Isla Sorna, the camouflaging ability helped the Carnotaurus while it was hunting, and it helped it to avoid the island's six remaining Tyrannosaurs. It is unclear whether or not the engine Carnotaurus survived the Isla Sorna overpopulation crisis of the early 2000s, or if it even survived until the Masrani Global Animal Harvest that came with the rebuilding of the Jurassic Park project, Jurassic World, in 2004. The first new Carnotaurus produced under Masrani Global was created in May 2008. Only four animals were made and were eventually housed in a paddock away from the visitor's eye, in Sector 5. These newer animals differed heavily from InGen's earlier version of the animal. These Carnotaurus were larger and had more robust legs. The park wanted to try to display these animals by May 2012, but found that these Carnotaurus were too aggressive to be handled properly near visitors and other animals. The park reinforced the paddock in Sector 5 to provide a safe environment for the animals and a safe environment for their handlers. Interestingly, we know the history of each Carnotaurus produced, yet only two out of the four have been given names. Let's start with the two unnamed animals, since their stories are the shortest. And by the shortest, I mean they, uh, they actually died horrible deaths. The first unnamed individual, who was most likely starving, tried to hunt a Cynoceratops in the middle of Mount Saibo erupting. Sadly, this Carnotaurus not only failed to kill the Cynoceratops, but to add insult to injury, was then thrown around by Jurassic World's T-Rex, which then killed the Carnotaurus by stepping on its neck. The second unnamed Carnotaurus was seen later as the eruption forced the animals to a cliff. This Carnotaurus ran until it ran out of ground, and presumably was caught in the volcanic eruption. Now we move on to the named specimens. Demon, the first named Carnotaurus, was unlike the other Jurassic World Carnotauruses, because it was mostly black in color and had red markings, instead of being red with black markings. Demon was captured by Ken Wheatley's Isla Nubar Harvest Team to be sold at the illegal Lockwood auction. It is unknown if Demon was ever shown to the buyers at that auction, but later that evening, he was released into the wilds of California. Four years after the Lockwood auction events, we see Demon crated in a shipping container inside the underground black market in Malta. Demon was released by Rain Delacorte in the hopes that Demon would chase and kill Owen Grady. The second and final named Carnotaurus is Toro, who could probably have his own video, but that's for a different day. Toro's story begins in late 2015, when two campers from the new Camp Cretaceous used an underground pathway and accidentally found their way into the Carnotaurus paddock. Toro found these campers near a feeder box, in which he gave chase and slammed his face into the box. This left him with a large cut across his face. Later, during the Indominus Rex breakout, Toro not only seems to travel southward to the ferry landing, but also has a final showdown with the campers of Camp Cretaceous, which left significant burns to most of his body. By late January 2016, Toro claimed Jurassic World's golf course as his new territory. In June, Manticorp traveled to Isla Nublar to capture new species for Biosyn. They captured Toro, and as far as we know, Toro is still living on the Manticore Island facility in peace to this day. This wraps up the first video in a series of Carnotaurus videos, so please stay tuned as we continue into September and bring you Carnotaurus Month. 